Hi students, now let's look at question number 8 of page number 204. Please look at question number 8. A statue, 1.6 meter tall, stands on the top of a pedestal. From a point on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top of the statue is 60 degree. And from the same point, the angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal is 45 degree. Find the height of the pedestal. Question number 8. The question is given a statue 1.6 meter tall is on the top of a pedestal, isn't it? The statue is on the top of a pedestal. So let's consider a pedestal on the top of which a statue of 1.6 meter, 1.6 meter tall statue is standing. Okay, a statue 1.6 stands on the top of a pedestal. Now from a point on the ground, so let's take a point on the ground, from a point on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top of the statue is 60 degree. So from this point, the angle of elevation of top of the statue, okay, so top of the statue is 60 degree. So from here you can draw, we will get the angle of elevation, it is 60 degree. And from the same point, the angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal is 45 degree. From the same point, from the same point, the angle of elevation of top of the pedestal is 45 degree. So the top of the pedestal, the angle of elevation is 45 degree. Find the height of the pedestal. We need to find the height of the pedestal. Okay, so let A, B be the pedestal, B, C be the statue and D be the point of observation. Okay, students, here we have two triangles in this figure, isn't it? Which are the two triangles? Whenever we are considering the triangles, we have to consider the right triangle. Okay, so the two triangles are triangle A, db and triangle adc isn't it triangle adc so before solving we will find out the common side so for these two triangles triangle adb and triangle adc the common side is what ad isn't it ad is a common side and the length of ad is not given in the figure isn't it so we will consider let x be the length of the side ad okay now, uh, when we solve, first we will consider one of the triangle. So, we will consider triangle ABD. In triangle ABD, in triangle ABD, in triangle ABD, the angle is 45 degree. Okay. So, we will take tan that is opposite by adjacent, isn't it? Tan 45 equal to opposite that is AB by adjacent that is AD and we have the value of tan 45 that is 1 equal to we will substitute AB that is what we need to find out that is H by AD that is X as we did in the previous question for making our solution easier we will try to make two equations with the common side. Here the common side is x, isn't it? So we need to make two equations with x. So for that we will take x to this side. So therefore x equal to h. We got equation 1. Similarly from the second triangle also we will try to make an equation using x. Okay. So for that the second triangle is in triangle ADC the angle it is 60 degree, isn't it? So tan 60 degree equal to opposite that is AC by adjacent that is AD. Isn't it? So tan 60 its value is root 3 equal to AC that is what 1.6 plus H. Isn't it? AC that is statue plus pedestal that is 1.6 plus H by AD that is X. We need to make one more equation using x, isn't it? For that we will take x to the side and root 3 to the other side. So therefore, 
x equal to 1.6 plus h by root 3. So now we got second equation using x. Okay. So here first equation is x equal to h and here the second equation is x equal to 1.6 plus h by root 3. Now <coughs> from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 we can equate both the RHS, isn't it? Both the LHS, it is x, x equal to h and x equal to 1.6 plus h by root 3. So now we are going to equate the RHS. So we can write h equal to 1.6 plus h by root 3, isn't it? For solving, we can take root 3 to the other side. So h root 3 equal to 1.6 plus h. Isn't it? H root 3 equal to 1.6 plus H. Now, we can take this H to the other side. So, it will be H root 3 minus H equal to 1.6. We can take H which is common here outside the bracket. So, it will be H into root 3 minus 1 equal to 1.6. Here, we have to find the value of H for that. Therefore, h equal to 1.6 by root 3 minus 1. Okay, now we can see here in the denominator it is a rational number. So, we have to rationalize the denominator. So, for that what we will do is 1.6 by root 3 minus 1 into, we will take the conjugate and multiply and divide, isn't it? So, that is conjugate of root 3 minus 1 is root 3 plus 1 by root 3 plus 1. Okay, so that is equal to 1.6 into root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 into root 3 plus 1. We know that whenever we take the conjugate and multiply and divide, we will be getting a form, a form of the uh, a square minus b square, isn't it? Here this is a minus b into a plus b. a minus b into a plus b it is a square minus b square. So we can directly write it as a square minus b square, isn't it? So that is root 3 square minus 1 square. Okay, so that is equal to what? 1.6 into root 3 plus 1 by root 3 square, that is 3 minus 1 square, that is 1. Okay, so that is equal to 1.6 into root 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 that is 2. Now 2 into 0 0.8. 2 into 8 is 16. So 2 into 0 0.8 is 1.6, isn't it? Therefore, finally, the length of the pedestal, height of the pedestal that is h equal to 0 0.8 into root 3 plus 1 meter. Hope it is clear. Please take it to know, students.